Welcome back to the channel guys, <coughs> Specky Bar Stewart here, yep, still in the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital in Glasgow, um, I've not done a video or a vlog even for a number of days, as I've not been feeling great at all, in the past kind of 10 or 11 days I've just really got my appetite back, my brain's not really switched on. And also where I've reviewed my lunch here. Corned beef and tomato sandwich. Do you know what? It was delicious. Um, they also gave me some cheese and crackers. Um, with some butter. Um, and lentil soup. Which was delicious as well. It's just a cappuccino cup from earlier. Um, I've got to say, that was a smashing lunch. Really, really tasty. <coughs> and I'm hoping to get out tomorrow, guys. Um, there's nothing really much more I can say, but yeah, the past 10 or 11 days I've, I've been a shadow of the man um, that I was. Um, I've lost a lot of weight. Um, and telling you this, I actually feel quite emotional. Um, it's going to be a bit of a slow recovery. They said kind of two or three months before I can, you know, even consider. I don't mean vigorous exercise, but exercise to a degree, um, due to the the lateral incision from inside the belly button down to the kind of pubic area. Um, ah, it's been a battle. It really has. Um, I still feel quite exhausted if I'm honest with you like um, I don't have much energy at all um, I'm trying my best every day to do a wee bit more than the day before <coughs> and to try and get some sort of recovery in me that I can sustain when I leave hospital let me just show you this. I've not showed you this. This is looking out into the car park at the back at A&E at the hospital. But this, what's been quite unique that I've not been well enough to show you is my bedroom looks... Uh, let me try and move these blinds. Angle them a wee bit better. Looks up onto the helipad. This is the helipad here where people get flown in. Um, taking down the ramp. It's like a scene for a movie, isn't it? Here at the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital in Glasgow. This little building down here that you can see, uh, kind of cream coloured. That's um, part of the maternity ward. Um, but yeah, the building vibrates and everything when the helicopters are coming in to land. If I hear a one coming in later, actually, I'll, I'll make a small recording for you guys. So yeah. TV, the TVs have not been working, that's not been bothering me, I've not really been watching much TV if I'm perfectly honest with you. Um, that's been that. Stay safe guys, um, have a good day and once I'm a wee bit better again, um, I promise I'll get some videos up for you. Um, Probably just going to be doing some stuff at home. I'll maybe I'll maybe do some cooking and you can review my my food. Um, but it's just going to be kind of energy dependent and how I, how I am on my feet and my my kind of pain levels. My wound is kind of almost healed over on the outside, but yeah, it's still kind of leaking quite bad and they're having to change the dressings a couple of times a day um, as well. Remember to like, subscribe and share um, my content. If anybody's in hospital at the moment and struggling, drop me a message and I'll definitely drop you a message back. Um, it's a tough time when you've, when you've been keeping ill health and my health's been all over the place for the kind of past 18 months to nearly two years. Um, but I really hope this is the end of it and the last of it and I can get some recovery and 
you know, get some positivity back in my life. Um, yeah, so until the next one, guys, remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. Speak to you soon.